I never wanted to be a teacher. I never, there was no way, I told my parents, there's no way on earth I'm gonna be a teacher. My dad was a high school teacher for 36 and a half years at Edison. My mom was a bilingual aide, actually here, and I have three sisters that are teachers. There had to be a change. You know, as I went to school, going through your general ed, I volunteered a lot with child development classes and not thinking of how that was leading me to being a teacher. I really enjoyed working with the younger kids. It got to me, seeing it, where they came from, some of the poverty level that you just know that you can be a change in someone's life. It just, it's almost, like it's something that just fell into place, like it's what I was supposed to do. Pete's one of those guys that, you know, it's the kids know that he cares. He takes failure personally. If kids aren't achieving at the level that, that he knows they're capable of, he takes it personally. He thinks it's at least to a great degree his fault. I look at it as being an athlete through high school and college. I look at it as an extension of coaching and that's kind of how when I come to the classroom, I treat it as almost as if they were my ball players, and I treat my ball players almost as if they were my students. It's all about how am I gonna get better today? He motivates not just the students, but he motivates the other teachers in our meetings about how they can improve their teaching, on how they can make teaching a more exciting life, and the importance of reaching every single child. His commitment is unwavering to his students, and, and you'll see it. And, and his students' commitment to him, more importantly, is equally unwavering. He's motivated me by like, sometimes I'll get lazy in class and like not do my work or not take notes, and then like, he'll encourage me to like, keep, keep it up, keep working, do better. I'm adopting 30 to 60 kids every year, because when you go home, you think about it, where they're coming from, or maybe what they're dealing with in their home life. You know, I, we don't know it all, but what if they're dealing with that? He's very clear about letting the kids know why they need to learn something. He'll make a connection somehow with the kids to how it's gonna affect them in their professional careers. So this is our data wall. One of the things I like about having the data wall is that you have a progression here uh, where you can see that the kids are learning, starting in kindergarten, moving all the way up through eighth grade. Okay, and this is math, which is Mr. Gallegos' subject area. Because we'd be at a stalemate if we didn't have a teacher like Peter on campus. He brings laughter to the school. He helps us not to take ourselves so seriously. He's funny most of the time. He knows how to put a smile on your face, make you laugh. And he, but he also knows when to like like when to stop it, when to keep it going. He makes my mood like home, like more happier, basically. And uh, I like math and like how he describes it to me makes me feel like it's easier for me. I think it's important for us to have a teacher like him because we're kids basically still. And we need, for me to learn stuff, I need to be able to have fun things in my day or else I get frustrated and I just stop paying attention and I zone out. So his class, it really helps me a lot to just kind of lift the weight off my back. And it just, it's a class where I can relax and actually have fun. His commitment to his automation and robotics class, he's helped grow that, it's become a district model. My students right now are, they have just finished um, competing in a VEX league. We are one of three middle schools that were in a high school league. They've learned some lessons on how to build. They've learned how to be able to communicate with kids that are a little bit more advanced than them, as well as how to have some success as well. Peter loves teaching. He loves working with students. He loves showing the children that their future can be bright. If you want them to work hard, they will work hard for you. But you have to set up those expectations for them. He makes jokes but like sometimes they're not really funny. I'm famous for this, all right? Is this, okay? See this? They take my thumb off. Yeah, he really tries, but... <laughs> it's amazing, I know. <laughs>